Yeah, I think uh, it has been an incredible year. I mean, winning the championship back in 2010, winning it again this year um, is very hard to, to put in words. Um, I think we have achieved something, you know, um, that does take a little time to, to really sink in. Um, fortunately, we had a lot, you know, a lot of races left uh, in the season uh, to still enjoy. But uh, yeah, hard to put in words, really. Um, I know Formula One for a long time. I know all the big names and uh, the history does mean a lot to me. So um, that we are now in some way part of that uh, is a very special feeling and uh, is something that no one can, can take away from us. I think last year was already very special, but uh, to do it this year again and uh, to have such a phenomenal season. I mean, we had lots of highs. I don't think too many lows. Um, yeah, it's incredible. That was actually my next question. Can you summarise the highs and lows, if there are any, of the 2011 season? Yeah, I mean, 2011 was a fantastic year all round, really. Uh, there isn't much we can complain about, so uh, a lot of, you know, highs. Um, lows, even if people try to find some lows and uh, um, some point in the middle of the season where I think for three races we, uh, we didn't win, um, I, I don't consider that as a low um, for the people. I mean, it's very easy to say that, you know, now things start to get wrong. And obviously, you know, they want in a way to start, play, uh, start playing a game a little bit and uh, put you under pressure, which is fine. But um, it's part of it. But, uh, you know, then I try to remember the time I had uh, when I was racing for Toro Rosso in, in, in the beginning of my Formula One career. And, uh, you know, you, you, you fought hard and you finished 16th, 17th, and uh, surely you know it, it was it was different times then. I had a, I did a lot of mistakes. I had a lot to learn, um, but still you know, back then you were dreaming about finishing fourth or maybe third, uh, reaching the podium once. So uh, I don't see that. I don't consider that as a as a bad result, as a as a low. Um, surely you know if you if you know that winning was in your hands and then you finish only fourth, then that could be a bad result but uh, I think even those races where we didn't win we still got the best out of us on that on that particular day and uh, you know got a lot of points which in the end they matter uh, a lot for you know the ultimate target winning the championship. Now on that, what about the German Grand Prix? That's one that didn't, the win didn't come to you this year. Now. In English, you'd say you might call it a bogey circuit, a home Grand Prix for a driver. You know, the McLaren guys in Silverstone, or what have you. I know Michael had problems in Germany in the past. Do you think such a thing exists? Well, I, I don't. I don't know. I mean, you know, surely if you look um, across the season, you have 19 races. Uh, to win one out of 19 is probably easier than to win one out of one. So, um, winning is never easy, um, and knowing that, obviously. You know, um, to do that in one particular race, um, it's it's a different story. So uh, I think we, you know, simply were not quick enough um, in Germany, and uh, surely, you know, I would have hoped for something else. Uh, the home Grand Prix is something very special. Uh, we had a lot of support this year, again more than last year, which is incredible. A lot of people with a uh, yeah, with a lot of, with a lot of you know. Uh, Red Bull hats and uh, on the grandstand, um, people giving the finger, etc. It was it was special, you know. It, it's surely when you're racing, you don't see too much of that. But uh, when you come into the paddock, you walk out, or you know you're doing the parade lap. Um, in all these moments, you realize, you know, um, the support you get, and uh, I think it helps. It boosts, um, but. You know, if you're just not quick enough and your maximum is maybe fourth or third, then it is not realistic to win. So um, there's just other people being better on that day. And I think you have to accept that, even if you don't like, but you still have to, to accept it. Um, surely, you know, uh, the German Grand Prix is special and would be special to win one day. But then again, hopefully it wasn't my last one. I'm not dwelling on the negative here. Japan also raced. Win, but you did win the championship. Now, 
I'm thinking you probably really would have liked to have won the championship with the race win, is that right? For sure. I mean, I think you always want to win um, the championship by winning. There's nothing better winning the championship with winning the race uh, on that day. But uh, yeah, I think Japan was a, a special race for us. The last two years were phenomenal and uh, this year we were very close. In the end we were only, I think, three or four seconds behind Jensen who won the race. So there wasn't much missing and we weren't slow on that day. But it wasn't our best race and uh, we did, you know, small mistakes here and there which did cost us a bit. It's not fair to say they cost us the win because Jensen did an incredible job on that day and they were very strong and they deserved to win, no doubt. So um, we didn't and we finished third. Um, but it was, you know, still fantastic to be on the podium. The Japanese fans are crazy and uh, the atmosphere is, is just, it's just fantastic. It's different uh, because the people are so enthusiastic and, uh, you know, standing on that podium, you realize that, I realize that my life doesn't get much better than this. Surely, you know, I w would have loved to be on the top step, but uh, just to be on the podium, see the passion, the people share with you uh, for what we do, for, for what you know all the drivers do, um, to be part of that in that moment and then winning the championship with uh, I think four races to go. I don't, I think it's, that, that says it all, I mean there's not much more really to add. Uh, it, it was very difficult indeed to, to switch from you know, the race we finished third to hurrah, we won the championship. It's, it's not that straightforward. It takes, it takes a while and uh, just, you know, because as I said, we did a little, you know, a few mistakes on that day and uh, surely you were thinking about them. Why did it happen and why didn't it come together as nicely as previous races, etc. But then again, you try to enjoy the moment, you know, uh, as I said, these moments on the podium and uh, yeah, surely I think the day you win the championship, no matter which result you have, um, good or bad, you will you will always remember that. Now you mentioned the fans there. How special is it when you go back to Heppenheim or go back to the factory to see people who really support you? How special is that? And, and Britain showed me photos of all the children, the young fans who come out to support you. How, how does that make you feel? Yeah, I think returning home. Um, you know, for me, returning back to my hometown, um, seeing, you know, the support and seeing the, yeah, the excitement uh, people people share for, for what I do, for what we do, um, is strange, to be honest. Um, it's very positive, but, um, you know, I think you go all around the world and uh, different countries, different people, different fans, and uh, it's great to see that and great to be just part of it. Um, but then I think home is always something special, something that means a little bit more to you. And to see, you know, faces you know from your past, faces that you know because you grew up in the same place, and seeing those people supporting you and supporting you for what you do and, and, and who you are is, is great. But you know, you almost feel shy, whereas usually um, it becomes natural in, in some way that you go to a track and we all, you know, all the drivers, we get a lot of support and it's, it's great to be part of that. But coming home, as I said, is something special. And it's a little bit similar when you come back to, to the factory um, and then you see all the people. And uh, in the end, you know, I'm allowed to use one of their cars, they produce only two, and um, I'm allowed to drive to drive around in one of their cars, and uh, yeah, to come come back back home to the factory and uh, see all the people. Just this moment means a lot, I think, for to all of us. So um, that definitely, you know, these two things are very very special because it's not a it's not fans that probably you don't know or you know personally you don't know it's people who you know it's people who work for you and uh, and it does make a big difference so uh, as I said you feel it's it's awkward because you are shy and you're someone else in a way you know you you are really yourself and yeah you don't know how to to rate that it's it's really something special 
I guess it means a lot to them as well. For sure. I mean, you know, when, when, when you come back uh, for the people, um, I think it means a lot just, you know, to see you. I mean, it's hard to imagine, but uh, obviously we're traveling around the world all year. And, uh, you know, I, I visit the, the factory from time to time. Um, and sometimes you see a couple of people from that department, from the other department, but to see them all together, just to see the amount of people, you know, makes you realize how, how big, um, yeah, how big the project is and how much effort there, there goes into producing those only two cars.